You have probably heard the buzz about server-side tracking, right? Everyone talking about how it revolutionizes market analytics, sidesteps, privacy constraints, ad bloggers, browser limitations, and cookie expiration time. Let's cut through the noise together. What's the real deal with server-side tracking? And more importantly, why should you care? Hey there, my name is Yevgen. Welcome to our Market Analytics with Obox BI YouTube channel. Just do me a quick favor. Click the subscribe button so you can get more insights about digital marketing strategies, data analytics, and more. Today, we are diving deep into the world of website tracking, but not just any tracking. We are talking about the shift from client-side pixel-based tracking to the server-side tracking. Sharper insights, better business decisions, and a massive edge in the digital marketing world in 2024. With this being said, let's explore eight key differences between client-side versus server-side tracking. Let's kick things off with how data is being collected. On the client side, tracking is all about the browser scripts. It's like setting nets, your scripts, in the digital ocean to catch the fish, clicks, views, website interactions. But ad blockers, privacy restrictions, and browser limitations are making the fish smarter, allowing it to slip away. This leads to gaps in your data in your analytics, like trying to understand the whole ocean but only catching every second fish, you miss out on the big picture. But now let's, let's shift the gears towards the server-side tracking. We are changing the game here, no more nets, we type directly into the source. Server-side tracking collects data right from the server by passing all the limitations. Imagine having a direct line to every fish in the sea. No matter how elusive they are, you've got the data. This is what service-side tracking is about. But here's the thing. It's not created to bypass ad blockers or privacy settings. It's actually about establishing a reliable and consistent data collection method. So you cannot just catch the fragments, but capture the entire story. In the data-driven marketing world, that's not just nice to have. Now it's essential. Next up, difference number two, data accuracy. Client-side tracking, in essence, is like trying to paint a picture without missing colors. You are limited. Browser constraints, ad blockers, all chip away at your data, leaving you with an incomplete canvas. Now, server-side tracking allows you to have access to every color in the spectrum, to all of the data available so you get a richer, more accurate data set for analysis. It's like switching from a sketch to a high-definition image. And when every dollar counts, accuracy is a king. Look, server-side tracking isn't just about collecting more data. It's about collecting better and more precise data. So no more guesswork, no more uncertainty when making decisions about budget allocation. Curious to know more and implement the server-side tracking right now? Pause this video and grab the comprehensive PDF guide about the server-side tracking we've prepared from the description to this video. While you are getting the PDF, we'll move on to the difference number three. Let's talk about data privacy and security. With client-side tracking, privacy is managed on the user's browser without any control of the region of data storage, making it easy to break the GDPR. The server-side tracking acts like a fortress adding an additional layer of security and significantly reducing the risk of data breaches. Data doesn't pass through the browser wherever Google Analytics decides. It's directly processed in a controlled environment where you manage the location of the server. With the right setup, server-side tracking grants you 100% of data ownership and trust. Difference number four, performance impact and user experience. With client-side tracking, the browser is overloaded with scripts. Each script is like a little app, and running them all together slows everything down. If you remember running multiple applications on a PC with Intel Celeron and Windows XP or even Windows 2000, please let me know in the comments. This affects the speed of your website and often causes a bad user experience. Visitors don't like waiting and even a few extra seconds can lead to a frustration and lost sales. 
Server-side tracking centralizes data collection reducing the load on the user's browser. This approach leads to faster page loads, enhancing the overall user experience. It's basically like upgrading from your Intel Celeron PC to Apple Silicon M3. So you get better performance, more of the happy visitors, less friction with results in more sales. Now, let's talk about the difference number five, the implementation complexity. Client-side tracking, it's a piece of a cake here. Most marketers are already familiar with it. GTM container, GE4, that's it. But for server-side tracking, you need a bit of technical know-how, the right tools, and some time. Yes, that's right, it's a bit more complex to set up and maintain, but the payoff is huge. You are constructing the masterpiece of your data strategy for the future. Look, if you feel that it's too complex, let us help you out. Follow the link in the description, learn more about our easy-to-implement streaming solution, start a free trial or book a call and we'll help you out. Now, let's discuss the difference number six – cookie expiration time. In the client-side world, cookies are like those temporary tattoos that kids love. They fade away usually in just seven days. And it's a real pain. When you're getting somebody from a retargeted ad, but your analytics system shows him as a new visitor. But server-side tracking is like getting a permanent professional tattoo. Your cookie expiration time and the conversion video are totally in your hands. Now, the difference number seven. Let's dive into the speed of decision-making. With client-side tracking, you are often stuck in traffic. Data collection delays are common, so you can't really make any fast marketing decisions based on data, just because of the de delays. Server-side tracking changes the speed game, just like a private jet versus a bike. This means instant insights, faster responses, and decisions made at the right moment. Server-side is all about the speed and timeliness in data handling. Lastly, let's talk about the cross-domain and cross-device tracking. In the client-side approach, it's like trying to connect multiple puzzle pieces from different boxes. That's just impossible. But with the server-side, it's like those puzzle pieces magically sort themselves out, simplifying creating user profiles and analyzing user journeys across multiple devices or domains by centralizing data collection. Now look, if you need help implementing a robust server-side tracking system for your business, OWAX BI Streaming is a server-side tracking solution that extends cookie expiration time, ensuring accurate tracking for the acquisition sources of conversions. The privacy-centric approach, aligned with the GDPR and CCPA, allowing you to choose the data residency, encrypt user data, and get 100% data ownership. Check all the details about OWAX BI Streaming by following the link in the description to this video. Once again, you can get cookie-less server-side tracking with extraordinary data completeness and without unexpected delays so you can make smart marketing and business decisions faster. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more insightful videos on digital marketing and data analytics. And I'll see you soon.